Hello, this is a mini project prepared for Big Data Analytics Lab on the topic Retail Press Optimization. We will follow this sequence in the video. First, we will talk about the problem statement. A significant amount of time is spent by retail store owners in deciding the price of an item. There are many aspects of the items they have to keep in mind while deciding the prices. In this project, we will analyze sales data of cafe and predict prices of their items. Price optimization is the use of analysis by a company to understand how customers will respond to the prices of their products or services. And it is also used to determine what prices should be, be it in an online or offline store, so that the company can meet most of their objectives. Price elasticity of demand, measure used to show the responsiveness of the quantity demanded of a good or services to change in price when nothing else is changed. That is relationship between demand and price. The effective desire for something changes as price changes. It gives the percentage change in quantity for 1% increase in price. Mathematically, it is delta Q upon delta. Now we will talk about data set that we have used. We have used three files. First one is cafe data info. It consists of date, calendar date, year, holiday, is weekend, is a school break, average temperature, is outdoor. Second file is cafe cell metadata. It contains following fields, cell ID, cell category, item ID and item name. Third one is cafe transaction store. It contains calendar date, price, quantity, cell ID, cell category. These are the libraries which we have used in the program. First one is Pandas. It is an open source Python library that is used for data manipulation and analysis. It provides a fast and efficient way to work with structured data like CSV, Excel spreadsheets, SQL databases, and JSON files. The library is built on top of the NumPy library and provides easy to use data structures for handling tabular data. Second one is NumPy, which is a popular Python library for scientific computing particularly in the areas of numerical analysis, linear algebra, and data science. Third one is stats models for API. It is a Python package that provides classes and functions for statistical modeling and data analysis. Fourth is stats models dot formula dot API. It is a module in the stats models library that provides a form-like interface to estimate statistical models, including linear regression models using R-style formulas, the OLS function, the OLS function in this module is, fit, is used to fit ordinary least square regression models using formula notation. Next is matplotlib.pyplot. It is a Python library used for creating static, animated, and interactive visualizations in Python. Now we come on to the exploratory data analysis, which is an approach to analyze and understand data through visual and descriptive methods. The primary objective of EDA is to identify patterns, relationships, and anomalies in the data, which can help guide further analysis and modeling. It consists of following steps. Data collection, data cleaning, data visualization, data analysis, and data interpretation. These are the libraries which we have used in the program. Here we have done exploratory data analysis. in which we have performed join operation and we have replaced missing values in the holiday field. 
since the data was complete so we have not used many exploratory data analysis functions come on to the combined data in this we have, in this part of the program two data frames sold and transaction are merged on the common column cell id the item id column from the sold data frame and the cell category column from the transaction data frame are dropped before the merge the resulting merged data frame is assigned to merged data 1 then the merged data 1 data frame is grouped by several columns including cell id cell category item name calendar date and price and the quantity column is summed for each group the resulting series is assigned to unique merged data 1 the intermediate data data frames is merged with the data info data frame on the common column calendar date the resulting merged data frame is assigned to combined data now we in this part the code fits a linear regression model using ordinary least squares to predict the quantity of burgers sold based on the price at a specific location using data from the burger 1070 dataset it then applies this model to a new dataset called bau2 data which includes outdoor sales on weekends and non holidays during school breaks finally the code selects the burger data burger sales data from this new dataset for the same location and fits a new linear regression model using ols to predict the quantity of burger sold based on the price similarly we have applied the same model for coke coffee lemonade using the function create model and find elasticity so we have applied this function in the cell 35 36 37 and 38 for burger and similarly for coke data in the cell 39 till 41 from 39 to 41 for coke data and the function is applied for lemonade in the cell 42 which is highlighted and for coffee data the function has been applied in the cell 43 the elasticities of these all items are stored in a dictionary named elasticities and it is shown in the cell 42 the output of the cell 42 it shows the item name and the corresponding elasticity now we will calculate optimal price for maximum profit the minimum price of coke is initialized to 10.45 and the maximum price of coke is initialized to 13.45 and we are assuming buying price of coke as 9 we will start with 9.5 and we will go till 20 and we will increase the price in the step of 0.01 for calculating the profit we will use this formula profit will be price minus buying price into quantity of the product we have defined a function with the name find optimal price which will take three arguments to calculate the optimal price it will take three arguments data which is a pandas data frame containing historical price and quantity data model which is a machine learning model used to predict demand as a function of price and buying price which is the price at which the product is purchased the function uses the data frame to determine the range of the price to test it creates a new data frame called test which contains a range of prices and uses the model to predict the corresponding quantity is demanded at each price it then calculates the profit that would be obtained at each price by multiplying the difference between the price and buying price by the predicted quantity finally it selects the price that maximizes profit and returns the corresponding price 
quantity and profit in our Pandas data frame. The function uses a simple optimization approach to find the optimal price that maximizes profit by testing a range of prices and selecting the price that maximizes profit. This approach assumes that the demand function is monotonic and convex, meaning that the quantity demanded decreases as the price increases and that the rate of decrease in quantity demanded slows down as the price increases. Now we will use the above function to calculate optimal price for all the items. Firstly, we have applied the function for burger in the cell 60 and from cell 60 till cell 62 we have applied the function for burger. In the cell 63 and 64 we have applied the function for coke and in cell 65 the function is applied for lemonade. Now we are displaying the optimal price for each of the product. For burger, the optimal price is 17.85, quantity sold is 47.26 and the profit earned is 418. Similarly, it is shown for different items. This is our data shown for coke. The number of units sold for coke is 158. The mean of the price is 12.32 and the standard deviation is 0.7. Minimum price for the Coke is 10.97 and the maximum price is 13.27. So the maximum price of Coke was 13.27 when the uh, when the optimal price could be 19.15 for maximum profit. This means the cafe was losing in profit but if they had sold for 19.15 the sales may decrease. Quantity being sold will decrease of cost, but price will increase. Similarly, for ordered items, the optimal price is predicted in the project. Thank you.